Eric, what's up, man? What's up, Patrice? You're a genius. I just want to say that right out front because you are an absolute genius. I've been following what you've been doing for a while. Oh, hold on, friend. Do, girl... me, do, me, do me a favor, Eric. Before you finish, just tell Kareth I'm a genius, too. Kareth, Patrice is an absolute genius. <laughs> I've been using this stuff for a while. But here's the thing. My girl left me, like, two weeks ago. Aww. And she left, she left me because... <laughs> I don't feel bad because I really ain't that upset about we it. We don't feel bad, nigga. That was her with that shit. Did you hear any, did you hear any manly awes, motherfucker? Oh. We, oh. We're like, all right, get on with the story, nigga. So, so, you, right, right, so right. you jerking off and you what? what what's the problem? <laughs> get to the point. <laughs> get to the goddamn Go point. Go ahead, man. All right. So she left me. She told me she was too crazy to be with me. So she left me. She said she wants to be by herself here, shit together, and then come back to me in like three, four months when she gets, you know, self, you know, all straightened up and together. And I'm just trying to make logic Holland. of it because I'm like, you, Patrice, if she comes at me and says all that stupid stuff, I come back with a straight logic and won't let anything die. And I think I drove her crazy. And what really pisses me off is I almost had her trained up the way you talk her because it does work. Because I like skirts and all those, you know, real sexy things. When I met her, she didn't wear none of that. Now she does. And, you know, she's just saying so, stuff so like... So what are you, you women, though? So when... Okay, as you know, there's always a pretense to when, when a woman talks. What do you think it really, really was? I honestly don't know. It's... I think I drove her a little crazy, but mm. it was just like the point where she was like, one night, she'd be like, I want to break up with you. The next night, never even happened. The next night, I want to break up with you. And I'll just be what like... What did you say when she, when she said she wanted to break up? I said, all right, if that's where you want to be. Good man. Okay. All right. Let me back, dude. Let me, let me ask you. You're doing a good thing, though. This guy is fucking a real soldier. Because one thing you did is that they they need um, an emotion to feed off. Women can't stay logical exactly. long. Exactly. They can't stay logical long. So when you when you told her that, okay, that's what you got to always do when a chick busts out emotion on you. You got to be cold. I know it's hard because she might have beautiful eyes and she's, like, crying. Might, might but you, go, you mm. go, look, you got to always be thinking to yourself, this, my happiness is paramount. Now, do you want to still be with this girl? I don't even know right now because she's being crazy. But the reason really that's tripping me out is, like, we hang out, with, we, you know, we've been dating for, like, 13 months and we, you know, all the friends. You know, connected together. She goes to my bar. They usually hit up. Right. And I'll roll up there, and she'll be like, "I love you still," <clears throat> and all this shit, because she wants to get back with me in like three months. Right. And it just really tripped me out. I'm trying to. I, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, she's trying to. You know, what she's trying to do. It's like this. And Dante has a story that's related to this, but I'm gonna give you an example of the pos the, the position that she's in. Women, again, like I said, you in the beginning of the show, women are looking for a general that they feel comfortable fighting for. They're looking for a guy that they can believe in. That's what a woman really wants her job security. to be. They want their job. Women really want to have no job. They want to support a man that they believe in. That's what they want their job to really be. So she's right. found you, and she fucking... It's like this analogy I use. And I changed my shark analogy, up, by the way. To the no bear. tuna. No tuna. What happened to the bear? It's, it's a shark analogy. Oh, right. no, okay. The bear's still there, but the shark thing... Uh, it's a hmm. lot of women... Because they feel like second class citizens. They feel a little weaker. They feel a little, um, they don't like loving you and feeling goofy. Like I've done a magical exactly. thing and convinced my girl that I don't have to love her as much as she loves me. Uh -huh. It doesn't make sense. For, you, can't you can't love at the same and time. You can't love the it's same way. It's impossible for me to love you exactly how you love me. So, but women want that to be the case. So what happens is, say you're you're shark. Until it happens. You're great until it happens. Until, if you're a great white shark, a lot of women go, I don't like being the bitch shark. So they swim and they they instead of like hanging out with sharks, they go and and Kareth is like this. Barracuda. She, you are you in a relationship right now, Kareth? No. Exactly. Kareth wait, wants wait. to be. I'm dating. Exactly, dating, whatever the fuck that means, and and so whatever title you have, you know you don't have a boyfriend. So what, what, what do you is, think about that, Drew, with your cute teeth? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? He does have nice teeth. So so you got you're a shark, right? You're a fucking shark swimming around, and you're a man, and here's the female shark. What happens is you have to convince a woman that she should be a female version of that animal, as opposed to. 
uh, the 50-50 animal that she wants to be. So the fact that you're swimming around like, I'm eating motherfuckers. All right, bitch, come on. You eat what I hunt. You eat what I, what I hunt and get. We both eat. You swim behind me and my motherfucking back stream, whatever fuck that is, whatever male sharks do, okay? Eventually, female sharks go, I don't fuck this shit. I'm a shark, too. But they're not a shark to anybody else except for penguins, penguins <laughs> seals, <laughs> fucking walruses that are afraid of them. So when you come up swimming with your teeth like, right, what happens is they go, the penguin goes, oh, here comes a shark. And what you do, instead of eating your food, you grab it and you go, you know I can kill you, right? You know I have power but over I'm a, you, right? I'm date you, you know, But, but <laughs> I'm going to let you live. And I'm going to put you on my back and I'm going to let you be this penguin who gets to, that's why a lot of pretty women hunt for like funny looking dudes and fat dudes. That's why a lot of bitches catch up to me and they just lose because they look for fat motherfuckers that they can. You know, I'm not a small dude. I'm just, you know, I'm a big boy myself. You're a fat you know? dude. You fat or you big? I'm big. You know, I'm six six three hundred. You know, six, I'm, you're I'm, a big you motherfucker. Big <laughs> so you're intimidating. And here's what they do: they look at you, right? And some little cutie pie thinks that she can control you with her cuteness because she's doing you a fucking favor. That's what a female exactly. shark does to her prey. That is and then she true. gets tired of swimming around with this fucking pussy ass penguin. <laughs> so she, eat she goes back to the male shark with this newfound confidence that the penguin's been giving her and the male shark still goes alright where you been bitch let's go back to what we doing <laughs> now the only way that relationship can stay su survive is if the if the woman shark submits to being a woman shark and says okay male shark how do I be a shark because if you've been I living your life the on the head, if man. you've been living your life your whole life being a penguin chaser you don't even have a fucking clue what it is to be a shark unless I teach you how to be one now here's what this girl did she left you because she was tired of being a bitch shark. She wants to leave. Right now, she's fucking a penguin. She's on Don't hiatus. you worry about she's it. On she's with some seals. She is who, not. She's with a couple of fucking walruses, and she and she's like, she's partying, and all the penguins and walruses are going, go, go shark, go shark, go shark. <laughs> but when she comes yeah. back to you, you go, all right, you finished, bitch? Now back to shark business. Didn't he say she was trying to conform or train? He was training but, her. But what happened? Him to do hey, Nah, you, she's just straight out crazy. Like she'll go out well, drinking and be like, "Oh, and she's always been just out." She's been, she she likes to go drinking, but she doesn't like the fact that I'm like, you know, if you're gonna drink, don't be driving. Yeah, right, I, right. You know, That's cool. I'm one of those guys who, you know. Giving wisdom. I, you know, He's giving her wisdom. He's giving a fucking some can, can, I, can I say something that you're probably not gonna believe? If she says she's crazy, believe her. Believe her. You know what I mean? It's just like when a guy says he's a dick. Crazy. If he's a dick, you know, girls out there, believe him. Because he's oh, telling you what he off. is. I told my girlfriend when we first started dating, and I was a royal asshole right off the bat. I told her, I am an asshole because you, you know where you, you, you into. Because you I go. am an asshole. And I am a royal asshole to people. And she's like, all right, well, I can deal with that. And she just like, she'll say stuff we're like, well, I don't like movies pa made past, like, 1980. And I'm like, well, you like this movie. You just told me, like, two weeks ago. Well, and no, you shouldn't. But here's night. the thing. Here's the thing. This is the type of thing we get into these, these goofy conversations with them. If a bitch tells me she don't like any movies past 1980, depending on the context. If we have if, if we having a conversation, she's like, I don't like movies past 1980. If she's going, I don't like movies past 1980. And you go, well, exactly. bitch, every movie I like came out in 2009. <laughs> and ain't even 2009 yet, bitch. Shut up. Who gives a fuck what you like? Cause that's what I tell her. But she's just like, well, I, see, I won't go like that. I'll say, um, yo, you said that this movie you liked two weeks ago. She'll was, just change her, she's, all sorry. she's going to yeah, do is change her reference. And Look, man. Like, no, I didn't say that. I'm like, what? You hey, said that. Let me she tell you something, dude. I won't, let me tell you something, Eric. She is fucking, is this Eric? Is he Eric? Yeah. yeah it's Eric. She's fucking trying to position herself into right. a better mental place than she is. Right. She's a chick who is usually in the driver's seat. And she yeah. submitted to you driving. Like, she submitted to you. you going, made her uncomfortable. Sh 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 shut up, bitch. I got it. 
and she felt comfortable. Like my girl, mm -hmm. even if I'm lost, I don't get directions from my girl. Shut up, bitch. Because we, if you oh. knew, we wouldn't be lost now. <laughs> Shut your crazy. fucking face. That's I'll crazy. drive into a, I'll, I'll drive know. into a ravine before I let you tell me where to go. <laughs> oh it's principle, God. nigga. Principle. I, gotta I, I want to say something, Eric. Is you're doing a good job by keeping her off balance, but the fact that you keep Keeping letting her come time. back is is contrary to the philosophy in the first place. If she can keep coming that's, that's back, that's the problem. And I love her, but it's just like you I gotta, don't. Like you got to make a decision and shut yeah. it down because if it, it loses strength every time you let her come back, because then she starts to feel as though she can come back whenever she wants to come back. She can that's go fuck penguins and time. then come and back come and fuck. Back. You got Here's what you got to do, and that and and mm -hmm. along with with what you're saying. You also got to understand this. Think of yourself as a corporation, right? right? Every corporation you have, like, okay, Danny works here, you know, Carol's here, uh, Reggie's here, fucking Drew's here, this guy's here, this guy's here, and this is my corporation, right? Even yeah. though I have the people in place I want, you still have to have a human resources department. You understand? There still has to be yeah. applications being taken. There still have to... You have to... Let me tell you something. You not only have to be sexy to get your girl, you got to be sexy keep to her. keep your Absolutely. girl. Absolutely. And you have to make other... Only way you're gonna your girl's going to know that you're sexy is to try and get other girls. You no, have to... No, you have no. to keep her having the same exact feeling she had for you when she wanted you you gotta guy. keep your girl wanting you you can never ever think she's can she, that she has you if she thinks she has by you it's guy. fucked up be by a being guy. a great guy hey be let me ask you guy. eric was you a great guy yeah. before in your life i've always been a nice guy but i'm always a bit of an asshole i'm not you know I'm, you I'm sound nice like you have the balance guy. Most people are nice assholes. Though. You know, I mean, there's yeah. a combination in everybody. But here's the deal. Seriously, if she needed a break, if she's crazy, let her go. You know, and I'm not saying that because you, you deserve to be happy, and she does too. But if she's already coming at you saying, I don't have my shit together. Here's, here's a, here's, she's adorable. Here's exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Here's exactly. Here's ex hey, Eric, here's exactly why you know she don't know what the fuck she wants. She keep coming back that's right. and keep leaving. And that's not fair to Here's you. Eric, that's it is fair. fair to you. It's not fair to him. It's Her not. Listen, let back. me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to have to rise above women again. It's <sighs> never a woman's fault. They just are goofy like that. <laughs> oh, my God. It's never their yeah, fault. It's our fault. Eric, it's not her fault. It's your fault. She can't come back no, if you don't let her come has back. No, she has no control over her own shit. She's goofy. She's gonna. If she can get you to be emotional, then she's going to be emotional. Do not take that ride with her. You go, sweetie. Um, I can't take you back right now. Then you know what she'll do? She'll, she'll beg <laughs> and she'll stop. You know what? And then you go, I, I can't. I take you like, I can't take you back because you're a crazy bitch I found me another bitch um, that I've been keeping on the side just in case you know of emergency well bitch I broke the glass yeah. and now well, I am dating the, the fire you know axe <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for calling Eric that's man that's what happened a week ago oh wait 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 she came back what go ahead go ahead go ahead a week ago, she came back to me. Like we broke up like two weeks ago. A week ago, a week ago, she came back to me and said, "Yo, I want you back. I made a mistake." And I said, "Nah, you told me you need a month. If you need like two, three months, you're gonna have your two, three months." And that's and she's still like playing this game and just tripped me out. That's it, all. It, it, Eric, here's Eric. Eric, this is Dante. You here's the situation. A woman is like a little kitten, and you are that little piece of yarn dancing in front of her, and she'll keep playing with it as long as it dances around. The minute you drop the yarn in between the, the, the kitten's paws, all of a sudden they sniff it, and then they walk away and go find something else. So you got to be consistently inconsistent, and you have to always be elusive to her and so, so that she doesn't have control. The on purpose. The, on purpose. On, a, on Almost on, on a conscious on level. A, on a conscious, spiteful level, nigga. It's strategy. Right. Strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it's strategy. <laughs> Listen. Hey, Eric, thanks for calling, man. Keep listening, dude. All right, man. Uh, We're going to come back to call. <laughs> hey, uh, Bob from Pittsburgh, man. Oh, my goodness. Bob. Mm. What's up? How are you, sir? Good, good. How's the family? What nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bob. I'll tell your story. What's up, man? What's up? Not much. Okay. 
right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, awkward. Come on, we got, we got, to me. We got like 15 minutes yeah, left. Yeah, man. Go ahead, man. My bad, man. I'm just a little high. Um, I'm calling because I was dating this girl for two and a half years, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden she just fucking up and left me for another guy. And now she's still like talking to me and stuff mm -hmm. and telling me like, like I kind of want you back, but I have feelings for him. And then the other day she told me how much she misses me, but she's starting to love him now. Well, there's like a that. name. There's a name uh, for you. It's called Plan B, and it's a good name. Yep. Your name is Bob. You are Plan B for Bob. All right, she's keeping you as a as a comfort zone Great in glass. case. Let me tell you something, Bob, and I and I have to move along. But uh, and I apologize, and I want to give everybody time. But what she's doing is she, she's she's making sure that this guy that she that taps into her animalism uh, more than yeah. you. She's just making sure he's a safe like haven to leave you for meaning she knows you're always going to be her little good thing when it comes to like it's okay so as soon as she feels comfortable that this fucking guy is okay and not a piece of shit because he is a piece of shit you know why bob because she likes him she likes yep. the guy and loves the guy he's a dick that's why you got to start learning how to be a dick, Bob. Just learn it. You can't just start going, fuck you. It's technique. I'm going to tell you what my girl did, and it's very hard. I'm, I'm diabetic. People know that shit. Got to take yeah. pills. My girl yeah. uses my sickness as a way to check on me, as a way to be in my face and a way to be concerned. And it's very difficult for me to say to her, bitch, stop worrying about my health. I can't say that. Yeah. So I have to figure out a way to come back because she thinks she found a way to just wiggle into my fucking system where she'll call me if I don't answer. Then she'll call me again. Then she'll call my house. Then she'll call my car, right? Oh, okay, I yeah. was worried. Why can't that just be being concerned? Because we naturally are. Uh, yeah. You, yeah, one yeah. more thing about her. She was not, she's still nuts because if she hears I'm out with like other chicks and shit, she'll get all jealous and be like, I thought you loved me and shit like that. <gasps> that's that's, like, a, that's, that's a, wrong. So she's pimping you. Dude, that's, a pimp, that's pimp move number, number, number three <laughs> in the handbook. And she learned it. And, she, and the only way she can play that game is because you're her good little thing. It, you got to take that strap on dildo out of your booty. And I'm not being mean to you bob it's she's ramming you and she's she's fucking you and kissing him you understand yeah she, I know she's mean. using you to keep to keep confidence over him because she feels fucked up you know what she's doing bob if you heard the show yep. she's dating up you're her penguin you're the guy that gives her confidence so she goes back to the male shark and she he goes where you went where you been bitch that's what yeah. you are. You're a little bitch, and I don't, you know, that's Aww. it. Hey, Bob, it is what it is. See you later, buddy. Um, Let me go to uh, Josh in Ohio. Josh. Josh? Yo. What up, Josh? What's up, Patrice? Nothing much. <laughs> hey, man. Uh. I gotta just tell you, man, everybody out there, that everything you're saying, man, all the points you're making is fucking true. That's for real. I've been with my girl for eight years, and, <laughs> I, and, uh. Josh, are you high? Leave him alone. Let him fuck it. I don't give a fuck if he's retarded. You let him get his praise out. Go ahead, Josh. Finish praising me. Thank you. <laughs>